Hey everybody, it's Optimus Prime for Life, and this is another video review, this time of the ultimate Optimus Prime. And he's here. Yeah, right there. He's hiding. He's camera shy. Not really, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the box. I just want to go over it real quick. It's got the three modes, power-up mode, robot mode, trailer mode. Should be truck and trailer mode, because... It's not just the trailer, it's the truck and the trailer. Uh, Autobot, biggest Optimus Prime toy, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, nice shot of Prime here. I really like the flames on the side of the box, it's kind of cool. Uh, product shots, Mech Tech. It's got Mech Tech ports all over him. It's got Mech Tech ports up the wazoo. Tech data for the box. Advertisement and clear Autobot symbol. If you can kind of see that, you can kind of see that. Okay, we're done with the box. Okay, um, on to the figure. Uh, here is the truck and trailer mode. He's got uh, eight Mac Tech ports on top of the trailer. Along with some clip, we got six clip points along the sides. Um, got the rivets and like the zigzag stripe thing, but it doesn't have, it's not quite the same as the G1 version. It's got an Autobot symbol up there and uh, right here. Uh, the back doors don't open, they're molded. It has a lot of molded detail, but. Uh, not a whole lot of like features on the trailer. It's just the power-up armor, the Omega power-up armor, as they like to call it, on the box. Um, you can see all the junk on the bottom, especially if uh, in straight-on view from here. Just watch me smack the trailer. Uh, rolls pretty well. Trailer moves pretty well too. And by the way, he has a trailer! Yeah! It's awesome! I've been waiting for him to have a trailer for like forever. I am the probably one of the biggest Optimus Prime fans you will see, hence my username. And he has a trailer. Uh, a little bit more about the trailer is, uh, well, got the wheels, turns into his armor, it's got like this cooling thing on front. Uh, not a lot too much about it, here's all the mech tech and clip points. So we're going to put this to the side and get on to the cab truck thingy. Uh, he's got flames and stuff like he always does. Uh, he's still got the rubber smokestacks, but they're a little more durable. Uh, if you buy this, you'll notice what I mean. Like, they're a little harder uh, plastic. Uh, here's all the robot junk. Got the abs. I think he looks better with the abs. I don't know why. Uh, this is something I kind of like. Uh, he's got three Mac Tech points here, here, and here. And same on the other side. Uh, this Mac Tech point right here is cracked. I tried to put Shockwave's blade into it, and it just cracked open. I mean, it'll probably still hold stuff, but it does have a crack in it now. It's too small to see, though. Um, especially with my bad camera and bad lighting. And yeah, stuff. Uh, here's the trailer hitch. And, uh... And shield, grill. Uh, still got the little Autobot symbol in the front. Uh, not too much more about that. Uh, so let's move on to transformation. First, you want to flip up these panels. Alright. And this one seems to be really loose on mine. In fact, it pops off pretty easily. They both pop off pretty easy, but this one more than the other. See how that'll hold a little bit and this one will just kind of flop around. Yeah. 
Okay, take this piece and unplug it from the bottom. And it's there you go. And it's on like this double hinge right here. But you just want to unplug it from there. Straighten these out. Separate them. Uh, pull these out, up and out. Then you want to pull this up to the side. And these kind of like fold over. You want to plug this tab into that hole. Like so. And then this just kind of comes over it like that. And I gotta say, it may not be the most accurate backpack, but I like it best probably because it's uh, a little bit smaller than the rest of them. It doesn't stick out from his back nearly as much overall. I mean, the whole thing still sticks out a lot, but like, the main backpack piece doesn't stick out as much as some of the other ones did, like on Leader Class Prime. It was, except for like the two red parts, had was pretty much perfect overall. Except for he's not Masterpiece Perfect. Nothing is masterpiece, masterpiece perfect. Nothing. Uh, unplug the feet. They plug into these two holes and these two pegs. You probably can figure that out. Separate the legs because they're pegged in right here. And bring them down. Okay. Um, he does have this sliding joint. Uh, oh, hang on. Pop this middle piece of the windshield off. And then he gets the slidey joint. This brown piece here, or this, uh, and I, yeah, I think it's brown. I'm not sure what color to call it. I'm just gonna go with brown. Uh, move the, there's his head, pops up, it's on a spring. Move the shoulders into place. Uh, bring the slidey piece. Oh, hang on. There we go. So it slides up, the back of the truck folds in, and you just kind of bring it all down together. And there's two tabs here that plug in right there. Nah. Crap. Okay, there, now it's plugged in. Bring the chest piece together. And reattach any missing pieces. Oh, nah. Pull this windshield piece down like so, then have him punch through his grill. Punch. And for some reason, this hand doesn't stay out all the way. It'll kind of scoot back in a little bit. Not completely, but a little bit. Um. Okay, that's everything. There you have Prime in robot mode. And. Now we're going to get into the largest Optimus Prime toy and the ultimate thing. Okay, so we're going to do some size comparisons here. So if this is the largest Optimus Prime toy, explain this. Here he is a little bit bigger than Voyager Battle Blades Prime. Definitely bigger than a Deluxe, thank goodness for that. But explain this. Yeah. He's not the biggest in robot mode. I'm not sure about trailer mode with the trailer attached or uh, his combined power up form. But in robot mode, for an ultimate figure, he should be bigger. That's my one major pet peeve with this guy is his size take these guys away he's not like he's bigger than a voyager like I remember seeing a like a customer review on like amazon.com in the classic lineup he would be about an ultra class figure which is in between leader and voyager but he's an ultimate figure he should be bigger so that's just my one minor irritate well actually it's not minor it's major my biggest irritation with him Besides the fact that these wheels stick out on his arms. But we're not really going to get into that very much. So, yeah. If they could just make, like, him bigger, I would be so very happy. But I know they're not going to. 
And I can understand why he's so small because, like, with I would have liked to seen one that was like the hundred dollar Devastator size. That including the power up mode, like, so he would probably be about leader class size, maybe bigger, maybe smaller, but around leader class size, I would have been happy with him, completely happy with it. But no, he's ultra class, so it's kind of irritating for an ultimate figure. I mean, look at Ultimate Bumblebee, he's huge. So I'm done with that now. I'm gonna get over that, or at least try to not say a word about it anymore. Um. But I still really like this figure. He's a lot better than some of the other primes they've come out with for this movie, especially the Voyager. Like if you watch M Mgo's review, he mentions that he likes this one way better than the Voyager. I didn't even buy the Voyager. Didn't even bother with it. So yeah. So he's still a pretty good figure. And uh, let's move this over and bring in the Mofo trailer. Uh. Got the big BFG. In case you didn't know what that stands for, it stands for. Shut up. BFG stands for Big Something Gun. For those of you who don't know, I'm not going to say what the F stands for because I'm trying to get to younger audiences. And it can be a big pain in the butt trying to get it out. There we go. And then you can kind of see the inside more. And uh, all the electronics are in the gun. It's also got like this helmet thing going on with the targeting system. A little target thing there. Kind of a. You can't really see that too well, but just. Shut it. Uh, but it. I would probably just take that off if you like to see Prime's face more. Uh, I heard some, I don't know how to pronounce his username, it's like P.O. or something, uh, he took like a window cleaner or something and a q-tip and just rubbed it off, and he also did a helmet mod, so you can look at that too, I probably won't do the mod because I like to keep my things in one piece, but if I were to get a second one I might do that, but I don't have that kind of money, at least not right now, so there's it again, to transform the trailer. Now these wheels do fold in, unlike the ones on his arms. Uh, you can leave them out during the power up mode or keep them in like that. So it's kind of personal preference. And uh, to transform the trailer, you want to pull up on this wing. It pl plugs in here and into this arm. See how it does that? Okay. Now, for your own good, it's gonna pop off. Leave it off. Leave it off. Leave it off. Ow. That hurt. Ow. Ah, there we go. Leave it off. For your own good. Fold these two panels out to the back. Bring this big front section up. It's on a double hinge. Let's see why is this doing this to me. There we go. Oh sorry you can't even see that. Uh, so it's kind of like flat like this against here. You just want to pull it up. It's on a double hinge like I said. Pull these antenna things out. And then you want to fold this back and bring these uh, wing attaching points out. You just press that flat up against there and it will clip in into the two black things on the top of the trailer. forgot to mention that. Um, these are on double hinges so you want to bring them up and out like that so you can see the top. And you can see the little metal bar. like Not like that, but like that bring these antenna things all the way up and the trailer hitch I would leave down you can lift it up but I leave it down because it's easier to connect something later on uh, fold out the giant hands of doom the Hulk hands and pull down this crotch piece 
um, fold out these red things to the side pull down on these leg armor pieces and fold up these toes from the bottom uh, detach these side panels here and come back here and detach if I can do this that ah, crap so I managed to detach them along with the main joint which normally doesn't happen it just pops right back on those so that's good and that one came off too yeah the wings like to pop off and you can uh, the legs do separate if I can, uh, come on. at first I wasn't sure so I just tried it and they separate and he also has a small hinge in the feet so you can pose him a little bit there's not much posing to do in the armor except for him holding the gun at Megatron's face give me your face bitch sorry about the language and you want to take these blue double hinges fold them up like so then uh, see what's next oh, these are a little far apart okay oh reattach the other wings and here he's got these mech tech ports here and the clip on points are still there. yeah those are the clip on points there Yeah, he's got like mech tech points all over him. So. And you can just kind of like make those pose however you want. Oh, yeah, bring these forward. Alright. Not that much. and now we connect prime to the armor to do that you it's very complicated it's very complicated I trust me everything you need to do I will show you fold down the feet and they'll rotate to the side themselves done now wasn't that complicated it's a good thing I showed you properly okay now in all seriousness this part is a little tricky not too much you'll probably be able to figure it out on your own I mean, he comes packaged in that way. So, and yeah, let me show you something first. There are three clips here, peg here, and a clip here. And there's two pegs and these right here for his feet. So, what you want to do is I'm going to fold the wings down. You want to sit them on here, and you just kind of forcefully push them back and down until said pieces go together like that. It won't it won't feel like you're breaking them or anything. It's not that strong of a push. Then you want to bring up this piece, and these will. You want to kind of tilt them forward a little bit before you do that. Because that'll... Uh, they'll clip onto the sides of his chest. And make it kind of bigger. Alright. Pick you up. And then you just want to peg in the feet. There. Move. Move, I say close these on the feet peg in the other foot okay, on. trying to find the peg to the hole okay there we go 
close that up and uh, next is the arms you want to lift up these panels as much as you can then these shoulder pieces kind of a like opening there slide around his actual shoulder then there's a space cut out on the bottom for the wheel to go and then there's a peg on the boxing glove hand the Hulk hand that slides into his regular hand and it's the same size hole for both hands so technically if he could hold the gun up by himself he could do it in either mode and he could have an even bigger gun in his robot mode which would be kinda cool but it's too big and won't stay up so yeah sad face Okay, let's see. Just, you can just bring the panel, shoulder panels down. Okay, that came unpegged. This arm likes to come unpegged more than this one for me. I don't know about you, but mine definitely comes unpegged a lot on that side. Like I said, like I said about the wings, uh, I'm just going to show you this without putting it back on. The Like, the wing looks kind of smoother on the top without the tires but then there's that and it'll be flat this way sorry um, one thing you can say is like this is extra air intake or like turbines or something I typically leave them up but they don't look too bad when they're down and uh, as for the BFG you want to take this piece Rotate it up and around like that, and then it will clip in on the trailer hitch. There's a little hole here that'll go onto the trailer hitch. You just line it up, and let me see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm doing this backwards, no wonder. Okay, pretend that didn't happen. Don't fall on me. Am I doing it? No, I was doing it the right way. My hand. No, I'm definitely doing it the right way now. Oh, it's not far enough ahead. Okay, so it'll clip onto the trailer hitch, and then if you have these folded out of the way, it'll fold back onto his back, and there are two clips on the blue part that it will clip into for storage and just to show them kind of like compacted okay. there he is kind of like compacted and if you want you can just well you probably will do this because it's what the toy is made for uh, pull these out to the side you can do these however you want there's a lot of options well there's enough options and uh, now he's ready to fly I'll give you a back shot there see he's in this mode he's pretty freaking big but in the robot mode he's pretty freaking small see all that extra stuff is the trailer I mean I like this mode but I would prefer a bigger robot mode without the trailer that's just me and there you go ranting um, and if you want you can pull said BFG back up and it makes a little helmet for him, like I said. And uh, pull his arms forward. And there are two handles right here. And they just plug right into his hand. Um, into his big Hulk hands. I don't know why I'm comparing him to the Hulk. I don't even like them. Well, not very much, anyway. 
more of like a Iron Man guy. Mostly because it involves robot stuff. And being a huge Transformers fan, Iron Man robots, you can kind of see that connection. There we go. Okay, now his arm is not staying in place. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, forget it. And now he has the BFG ready to shoot Megatron's face off. Bring this guy forward a little bit. Um, and you can have him shoot somebody. Like, not with a missile or anything, because he doesn't have any actual missile, but... Let's say he wants to shoot Shockwave. Uh, let's see if I can lower this a little more. No, uh, not really. Yeah, it pretty much just shoots straight out. This arm is annoying. Okay, so there are three ways to shoot. This button, now there are two up here. This button. And it lights up at the front. Or you can pull back the big red switch. And we all know what the big red switch does, don't we? The big gun. Not exactly the best sound effects for it, though, in my opinion. And if you pull it more than once, okay, maybe if I pull it three times, there we go. So he will shoot you in the face, you will die, and then he will say his name in an awesome voice. Because Peter Cullen is awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for the BFG. Um, so Shockwave, you can go. His dead carcass thrown aside. And uh, one last big shot. And this is Optimus Prime with the Ultimate Optimus Prime. Wait, did I say my name is Optimus Prime? I don't know. This is Optimus.